Hello, hello, welcome back to Jilly's Nails. Today I have some new swatches for you. They are from the China Glaze Sesame Street Holiday 50th Anniversary Collection. They're so pretty. And this first shade is my favorite. I bought it just because of the name. I'm not even going to lie. I bought a big bottle just because of the name. It's Fa La A A A. <laughs> I had to do it. Can't help it. Had to. Um, I did something a little different on these swatches than I've seen other people do. I did it on a naked nail. Not naked. It had a peel off base coat. Uh, but then over white and over black. So you can see how each one of them performs. A lot of these are glitter based formulas. Some of them I would even say are glitter toppers. So I thought it was kind of interesting to see how they came out like this one. It looks more purple over the white, but it looks more gold over the black. And it is this beautiful jelly with a cream or it's not a cream it's a jelly with a beautiful purple and gold glitter shift in it it's absolutely gorgeous it's my favorite the next one i apologize in advance <laughs> i filmed this part twice and both times forgot to take photos of this color but this is called me ate santa's cookies i love this shade i love the name of it everything about it is cute i grew up on watching sesame street it was one of my favorite shows as a kid and uh I, the count was my favorite <laughs> but this is a beautiful blue with kind of a pearlized finish so if you're not careful it can be a little streaky on application but i also really liked the effect on this no this is not a topper this is opaque it's pretty much op opaque in one coat to be honest with you but if you put it over white and black it changes the color just a little bit um, it brightens a little bit on the middle finger and it darkens it a little bit on that ring finger and i absolutely loved this over the black i thought it was gorgeous i also just liked it on the naked nail too or the, i'm gonna call it the nude nail i have nudes <laughs> it's my nude nail um, but I love this and again I'm so sorry I didn't get a picture of it but it is a beautiful color and I love it with that gold that gold is called gold mine your own business it's also from China glaze I think it's from the fall collection and the next one is called brought to you by and it is an absolutely beautiful green polish that has blue shimmer in it blue glit it's not shimmer glitter I would call it blue glitter. It's almost a blue holographic, but it doesn't quite rainbow shift, so I think it'd be a duochrome. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, my favorite, again, not over the white. For me, it was over the natural nail and the dark, the black uh, polish that I thought were just absolutely gorgeous. I love this over black. A lot of these, you're going to hear me go, ooh, I love this over the black, because it's beautiful that way. And the shift in that is actually really pretty in person. It's a gorgeous color. See, that middle one, it just kind of made it too light. I don't care for it. But on the darker nail, on the natural nail, it's very pretty. And the next one is called Gift for You, which is a beautiful glitter polish. It is a pink glitter. It is very, very pink. It is very, very sheer on the first coat. Um, if you haven't done glitter with a sponge, I would probably recommend this if you want full opacity. It comes close to it in two coats. And for me, I'm just not a three coat person. I'm not going to do it most of the time. I might do it for glitter. I might do it for really pretty glitter. But on the whole, you know, two coats of this was enough for me on its own. I did have to kind of play with it a little bit and... I guess give it a little thickness to make it look opaque all the way through. But look at this over black. Uh, so pretty. Look at it. I hate it over the white. Absolutely hate it. Love it over the black. It's a pretty, pretty polish. You know what? The more I think about it, I'm just not a huge fan of glitter over white. I never really like it when I look at it that way. Love it over black almost all the time. <laughs> not so much on the white. And the next one is called 50 Shimmering Years. So again, this is Sesame Street's 50th anniversary. And look how pretty this is just in one coat. Like it's just enough to make you go, oh, hey, there's something on the nails. I kind of like it like that. So if you don't mind visible nail line, it might not be a bad color for you for a one coater. Um, but it does come become almost completely opaque in two coats. Uh, and I don't do hugely thick, thick coats. So they're not, they're medium coats. It's a medium coat. <laughs> it's not too thick, not too thin. It's just right. 
Uh, again, I'm showing you the, the same color as a topper because I do think it makes a beautiful topper. That one coat was just too pretty not to try it as a topper. And look at that on the black. It's also very pretty on the white too. In person, it reminds me a lot of like a champagne kind of snow reflection. It's very pretty. It's very champagne-y, very pretty color. And the next one is called A Grouchy New Year. <laughs> I love it. I love when I was a kid I had this Oscar the Grouch that was in a trash can and it was on this um it had a bulb at one end and you would squeeze it and the grouch would pop out. It was so cute. I had that thing forever. I probably had that until I was a teenager actually because it was so cute. Um this one is definitely a glitter topper. To me, it looks like a Christmas tree in a bottle. I absolutely love the way the glitter looks on this one. I absolutely hate it over the white. <laughs> Ah, uh, the more I did it, the more I was like, eh. But I could see this being really cute in Christmas tree nail art. And again, look at that over the black. It's absolutely beautiful over the black. Um, you know, if you love it over the white, yay. Um, but for me, it's just, no, not so much. But I could definitely see this being used in Christmas tree nail art. It would take several layers to get it, you know, completely opaque. But if you painted a green Christmas tree, you could definitely slap that on top and it would give you the illusion of it being Christmas. It's very cute. Look at it over the black. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the next one is called On the Nice List. Kelly Marissa mentioned this, and I 100% agree with her on this. She said it should have been called the uh, for a gift for you because it's spelled F-U-R. And I agree. It's fuzzy. It looks like hair. Why would you not name it a gift for you? And instead, they named it on the nice list. Now, these are... I'm not sure the exact kind. They're kind of the more bar-style glitters, but the ones that look kind of furry and hairy. Honestly... I'm not a fan, and and that's just me. I also don't like nail polishes that have a bunch of flecks. Not not the glitter ones, but the ones that kind of look like those robin egg candies. I don't really like those polishes. So for me, this is a no. Like, I don't want it in a big bottle at all. <laughs> but I did buy the mini collection from Sally's. I got the whole minis for $25, and it has all 12 shades in it. So if you want to check it out and you're not sure which ones you like, I do recommend that collection, and it would be a great gift. It's really cute. Now, see, I don't mind it on the natural nail and all over the black. I hate it over the white, but I, it's not a fan. It's not one I see myself reaching for, but that's just my personal style. There was nothing wrong with the polish or how it applied. And the next polish that we have on the list for you is called T for Tinsel. T is for Tinsel. Yeah, I didn't say it. Kelly Marissa did. I don't want to be a copycat. <laughs> but T is for Tinsel. It's absolutely gorgeous silver glitter polish. I, it was during my Halloween videos. I know I talk smack about silver because I never wear silver. I would go buy this one in a full-size bottle. It's that beautiful. It's pretty over the white. It's beautiful over the black. And it's great. That was two coats on my index finger. And to me, that's good enough. Like, <laughs> tea is for tinsel, and it is good enough for me, dadgummit. I would actually wear that over all three colors. Probably the most favorite silver I have ever used or silver glitter I have ever used. I think it's stunning. Actually, I think I like it best over the natural nail. And see, I did go in and do three coats, so I must have. And look at it. That one looks like snow. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful in person. This picture does not do it justice. It's beautiful. And the next polish that we have for you is called Celebert. This is such a weird color. It looks like gold, but it also looks green, and it also looks yellow. So it's like this almost goldish lime green color, but it's all glitter. It's really weird. I don't think I like it. Um, I really hate, I hate it over the white. Absolutely cannot stand it over the white. It's very pretty on top of the black. Um, and even on the natural nails, just kind of eh for me. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't buy a big bottle of this. But I can kind of see some situations like it would be pretty for holiday stuff. Maybe a New Year's Eve party, something like that. But it's just weird. <laughs> it's a weird color for me. It's almost the color of celery. 
like a celery color, like celery burt. You know, like it sounds like they were trying to say celebrate, but maybe it's supposed to be a celery color. I don't know. You tell me. What color do you think that is? It's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Um, <laughs> but we're on to the next one because I'm just going to stare at that one all crazy. This one is called Hashtag This Is My Street. This is definitely a uh, very, very, very holographic glitter. Um, and it has a bunch of different sized holographic. Like it's got some bigger chunks and some smaller ones. It was kind of weird to apply. Like it felt like a topper. Like one coat definitely felt like a topper. But then you go in and put on two coats, and all of a sudden it was almost opaque. So it was confusing. <laughs> I wasn't really sure how to use that one. So I just went ahead and applied it as a topper over the white, which is gorgeous over the white. It's holographic. You can't really screw up a holographic. Poly well, I'm sure you can. Yeah, I've had a couple that are, I'm air quoting, holographic when they're not holographic. But see, I'd, I went back in with just a very light third coat there, and it's opaque. So it's... It's weird. So you, that one you could either use as a topper or keep going and keep going until it fills up the nail. And it's beautiful. It's stunning. It's very reflective. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's worth that one in a big bottle, too, if you're a glitter user. I mean, look at the flare. You can see it there, all the different colors that flared out in that photo. It's absolutely beautiful. The next one is called Since 1969. Now, I started these swatches on another day, so... Clearly, they're different. I did not do these over black and white, but this was opaque into almost three coats. Um, it's kind of a black jelly base, but it's got this blue-green tint in it. It's very, very pretty. Again, it's called Since 1969, and it's honestly one of my favorites out of the collection. The next one is called Giggling All the Way. I think it's so cute. It's opaque into um, two coats. It's very gorgeous. So I hope you like this review, my first swatch and review ever of these absolutely stunning polishes. I hope you'll check them out, see if you like them. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a subscribe. You can click on my face in the upper left-hand corner. You can click in the upper right-hand corner to watch more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and I'll be sure to answer you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.